everybody coming back on with another video this video will be on a general reading for the month of february i should have did this at the beginning of the month i know but i'm, I'm catching it toward the middle i guess <laughs> so the first three cards that came out was the eight let me show y'all the eight the eight of wands the Five of Swords, and the Four of Cups. So that represents the beginning of February. What does that mean? The Eight of, the eight of Wands talks about energy coming in all directions, focusing on, on one goal. The Five of Swords talks about conflict, talks about competition, rivalry, Mal de Ojo, Envidia, um, which is basically the evil eye, um, gossip, chismo, like, basically, it's just any kind of obstacle that could happen all at once is happening, and that energy is coming in from all directions, so at the beginning of February, maybe you felt like you had conflict coming in in all directions you know people not really understanding what you're saying miscommunications um maybe you had a lot of haters that were you know gossiping about you it's just any kind of conflict or obstacle in the way that's coming in out of no nowhere basically and the thing that was crossing that is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups talks about sadness. It talks about, you know, feeling, focusing your energy on, on sadness, depression, loneliness. It's just basically, you know, I guess dealing with the, all the conflict and dealing with everything in a negative way. You know, not really seeing the light of a situation, but just focusing more on the negative aspects of it, if that makes sense. So basically, the beginning of February, you might feel like obstacles are coming in any kind of direction. And what's crossing that is sudden sadness, sudden loneliness, sudden depression, sudden um, not really seeing the positive of a situation but just kind of focusing on the negative you know i'll say this as far as the beginning of the month with the four of of cups you know sometimes we get so focused on the negative of a situation that we don't see the positive until it's too late like sometimes god will put these obstacles in our lives to remove to remove us from a certain situation or from a certain person so, you know, I know it I know it looks bad now, but like when, I think that when you look at it in the future, you'll be like, well, you know, this situation happened and it was horrible, but because of this situation, you know, it it, it reflected my um energy to something bigger, something better. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, you know, I didn't get this job or you know, I lost friends, lost um, a friendship here, but because of that, you know, it put me in a direction, in a totally different direction where, you know, I'm with better friends or I have a better job. So, you know, sometimes you just have to be a little optimistic and just look at a situation like that. You know, even though it looks bad right now, I'm pretty sure, you know, God put me in the situation to just remove me and focus on other stuff so that's the beginning of, of february now the middle of february you have the queen of swords the eight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles what does that mean queen of swords talks about someone that's very intelligent someone that is more logical than emotional someone that is very business minded their energy is focused on their business, um, just someone that overall, like when I think of the Queen of Souls, I think of a Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not for the nonsense, no BS whatsoever. But at the same time, 
you know, they're very intelligent. They're very knowledgeable. Like they, they hold on and retain knowledge and wisdom. Um, that's the kind of energy I always get from a queen of swords. Now the eight of pentacles, when I look at the eight of pentacles, I see someone that is planting seeds, you know, someone that is putting in work, someone that is seeing the fruits of their labor. You know, they're, they're planting the seeds to, 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 to build a harvest. So with those two cards together, I see, you know, focusing my energy, well, focusing your energy on something that is going to be productive, you know, gaining knowledge from it, learning, being wise about the situation, like not being emotional, not really being tied to your emotions, but just being wise and knowledgeable and focusing your energy on something that is going to be productive for your life. What's crossing that is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very mythological, mythology, the, the, very analytical and, you know, just down to a routine. That's what I want to say. They have a routine about themselves. So the, so the middle of the month of February, you know, make a routine of focusing your energy on something that is going to be beneficial. Start planting the seeds. Start, um you know, making a routine of it, start writing down your goals and start making, um, plans to see those goals come into fruition. Be very logical about it. You know, do your research on it, put your energy out there to be fruitful. Now the end of the month, the cards that came out for the end of the month are the six of swords the Queen of Cups, and what's crossing that is the Seven of Pentacles. What does those cards mean? Six of Cups, Six of Swords represents movement. It represents going from, so y'all can see it. This is the Six of uh, Six of Swords. Six of Swords talks about movement. It talks about going from. A bad situation to a better situation. It also can represent travel because they are on a boat. But it's definitely representing seeing going from a bad situation to a to a good um, situation. And the reason why I say that is because on one side of the boat it's rough waters, but they're going the direction that they're going is is calmer waters. So definitely, at the end of the month, I definitely think that you should look for change. You know, maybe the situation looks a certain way now, but toward the end of the month, that's definitely going to change into something that's going to be better. And the card that was next to that was the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is the card uh, that represents the element of water, which is your emotions. It represents healing. It represents, you know, definitely, like when I see this, this card, I think of the energy of Yemeya. You know, definitely calming, soothing, dealing with your emotions, dealing with your uh, intuition. So with those two cards together, I see a movement, a move, like a change that's going to be beneficial to you spiritually beneficial to you um to your intuition you like just make a change for the better you know definitely a change for the better i think that because of all the things that you've went through as far as the beginning and the middle of the month it's definitely going to be a change to inspire creativity spirituality and just overall good your overall wellness the card that is crossing it was the seven of pentacles <laughs> seven of pentacles what does that card mean seven of pentacles represents again um seeing the fruits of your labor 
So, I think the end of the month will definitely be a good time for manifestation. Um, just overall putting those goals out, putting those, um, you know, making plans to, um, you know, see things coming into fruition. So, that is my reading for February. Oh, let me pull another card out. The card that is the outcome is the High Priestess. So, the end of the month talked about spirituality. And the card that came out for, you know, the overall outcome is the is the high priestess. What does the high priestess mean? The high priestess talks about developing intuition, developing spirituality, developing um, that connection to your subconsciousness. So again, I, I think that because of the obstacles that you might have went through from the beginning to the middle of the month, it's definitely going to spark that creative consciousness inside of you to maybe develop you spiritually. Overall, that's what I see for the reading in February. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys, um, you know, like the reading. I hope it helped. And I'll be coming back on with another video. Bye, you guys.